Good morning. Today we'll be doing the Liturgy of the Hours Morning Prayer for December 12. Today is the Feast of Our Lady of Guadalupe. Let's have that moment of silence to better prepare us for our prayer. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Who is this that comes forth like the dawn, as beautiful as the moon, as resplendent as the sun? O oh God, God, you are my God, for you I long, for you my soul is thirsting, my body pines for you, like a dry weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise, so I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night, for you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your, Your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Who is this that comes forth like the dawn, as beautiful as the moon, as resplendent as the sun? You are the glory of Jerusalem the joy of Israel. You are the fairest honor of our race. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. You springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, 
bless the Lord. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven. Praise worthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. You are the glory of Jerusalem, the joy of Israel. You are the fairest honor of our race. O Virgin Mary, how great your cause for joy. God found you worthy to bear Christ our Savior. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let Zion's son exult in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory. Shout for joy and take the rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hand. To deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the people. To bind their kings in chains and their nobles in fetters of iron. To carry out the sentence preordained this honor is for all his faithful. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O Virgin Mary, how great your cause for joy. God found you worthy to bear Christ our Savior. A reading from the book of Genesis. The scepter shall never depart from Judah, or the mace from between his legs, while tribute is brought to him, and he receives the people's homage. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Good morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Today, we celebrate the feast of Our Lady of Guadalupe. She appeared to an Indian, a very humble, poor Indian, Juan Diego in Mexico, and asked him that he should go to the bishop, Bishop Zumaraga, and have a church built there at the site where she appeared. He was very, first of all, he was scared. He, 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 he was doubtful that he could do it. He was doubtful that they would listen to him. He was like many of us when we're asked by God to do certain things. We, we doubt ourselves. We, we don't realize that when God is with us, he will accomplish those things through us. So Juan Diego was very scared and he, uh, he avoided her. He tried to go a different way, but she appeared to him and she said these words, which can we can relate to. She said, Hear and let it penetrate into your heart, my dear little son. Let nothing discourage you, nothing depress you. Let nothing alter your heart or your countenance. Do not fear any illness or vexation, anxiety or pain. Am I not here who am your mother? Are you not under my shadow and protection? Am I not your fountain of life? Are you not in the folds of my mantle, in the crossing of my arms? Is there anything else that you need? These are Mother Mary's words to Juan Diego, but they're also words to us. Mother Mary is there to care for us, to guide us, especially draw us closer to her son, Jesus Christ. So today we honor her and we should always keep her in mind, always look to her to intercede for us and help us in our walk of faith. I want to finish this um, morning's reflection with a 
Lady of Guadalupe, which was approved by St. Pius X. Our Lady of Guadalupe Mystical Rose, make intercession for the Holy Church. Protect the Sovereign Pontiff. Help all those who invoke thee in their necessities. And since thou art the ever-Virgin Mary and Mother of the true God, obtain for us the Most Holy Son, the grace of keeping our faith. Sweet hope in the midst of the bitterness of life, burning charity, and the precious gift of final perseverance. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. I lift up my eyes toward the mountains. From where shall help come to me? I lift up my eyes toward the mountains. From where shall help come to me? Lord, for you I rise early. Give me a sign of your favor. From where shall help come to me? Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I lift up my eyes toward the mountains. From where shall help come to me? Go up unto a high mountain, Jerusalem, herald of good news. Say to the cities of Judah, Here is your God. Like a shepherd, he feeds his flock. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadows of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Go up into the high mountain, Jerusalem, herald of good news. Say to the cities of Judah, Here is your God. Like a shepherd, he feeds his flock. Let us praise God, our all-powerful Father, and say, Lord, Creator of life, hear us. Blessed are you, Lord of the universe. In your great goodness, you sent us the mother of your Son. To, to call us to faith and make, make us members of your holy people. We bless you, Lord, because you have hidden your message from those who are wise and prudent in the ways of this world and have revealed it to the lowly and the poor you call us to be your worthy and trusted messengers may we carry to all peoples and nations your words of love and peace by the presence of mary you made the desert bloom with flowers may the blessed virgin mary's love transform us into the image of christ Make us attentive to the message of Our Lady of Guadalupe, so that we may deserve to meet Mary along the path of our lives. Let us pause for a moment to lift up our prayers and petitions to God our Father.
Heavenly Father, we lift up to you our prayers and our petitions, together with the prayers and petitions of each and every one who are praying with us this morning. We ask, dear Father, that you hear and answer each and every prayer as we pray. Lord, Lord creator, creator of life, life hear us. us. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, we now pray the prayer Jesus taught us. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen let us pray god of power and mercy you bless the Americas at Tepeyac with the presence of the Virgin Mary of Guadalupe. May her prayers help all men and women to accept each other as brothers and sisters through your justice present in our hearts. May your peace reign in the world. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be. Thank you for praying with us. We hope you can join us again tomorrow. Same time, same place, same channel. Have a great day.